is up all of you awesome and amazing people on youtube the old coot here coming at you with another exciting video okay so gas is off heats off i pulled my potatoes out of my pan if you're following along in this video series i'm basically showing everybody how i get a stainless steel pan to be seasoned non-stick like an asian style wok right quote unquote there you know as close as i can or whatever one key factor is this after, if you've gone to this point, like if you've made it this far in the video series and you've been watching how we've been getting our pan to get more and more darker brown, more and more coatings of oil, et cetera, more seasoning layers. Once you get to this point, <clears throat> after I've fried my potatoes, what I'm going to do is let the pan come back down to room temperature. Very important. 65 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit or so, give or take. Another tip is instead of just leaving like the pan, you know, always in the same spot when you turn off the gas, I try to rotate the pan just so that a different side of the pan gets the pooling of the, <clears throat> gets the pooling of the cooling oil, basically. Uh, so in this case, for right now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave it like that and then let this come down to room temperature. Once this has come down to room temperature, the pan and the oil both, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour off the excess oil into like some kind of a container. Uh, in this case, I've got some paper towels in here and I'm going to pour the oil inside of that. And then basically I can use these to start a home fireplace fire. Another little benefit of having, you know, used oil or whatever. Uh, try not to use your oil, like especially in the beginning, try not to use your oil over and over and over again, the same oil, try to just use it once and toss it because you want fresh or virgin oil in there every time you season the pan, especially for the first 20 cycles, like the first 20 times that you use it to kind of get a nice, good base coating of fresh, clean, you know, as seasoned possible seasoning oil as you possibly get in there. Uh, and the oil that I used today, in case you were curious, was Mazzola. If you've got the money and you want to buy the avocado oil, great. Just make sure that it's some form of high temperature oil. The trick is never, <laughs> never use olive oil in this pan once you've seasoned it to wok style seasoning because olive oil has a lower smoke point. It's just going to make everything stick. So that's one downside of doing this process is that if you're going to make the leap and go to the wok style seasoning in the stainless steel pan, you almost always have to use either avocado. You could use rice bran oil. You could also use corn oil if you want to, if you're comfortable with that. For deep frying, I like the corn oil. For just regular cooking, like cooking eggs or cooking a steak or whatever, grilling up some onions, whatever it is, I, I like to go for the avocado oil. So that's basically what it is. But anyways, hope this video helps some of you out there. Remember, let the pan come down in temperature, and every time you go through a cycle, like every time you cook in your pan and you're waiting for it to come back down to room temperature, try to just turn your pan, like, I'm going to let it go this cycle this way, right? Then the next cycle, I might do this. Then the next cycle of cooking, I might do this. Then the next cycle, I might do this. Just so that the pan gets an even, you know, distribution of the oil all around there as it comes back down to room temperature. Anyways, if you do like what you're seeing, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button down there below, hit the comment section if you have any comments or questions. You can always go down in my video playlist, Stainless Steel Pan Everything, to see how we've come to this point, how we've gotten to this point of this nice, you know, brownish, really dark brownish patina. Hopefully it will turn black, you know, as more and more usage and etc. cetera. Uh, the next video I'm gonna make for you is we're gonna deep fry some proteins. So that'll be the next video. So stay tuned for that. That's why you want to hit that notification bell and hit that subscribe button. And I will catch you all on the next exciting video.